I'm so, I'm so upset. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna have a happy time. Happy time. And I'm gonna show you guys my new gun. Oh, this is it. Hello, Moose is here. Moose is here to see. The new Klanishnikov, the Moose Reveal, AK-47. I just checked it, no round in the chamber, no round in the magazine. We are completely safe here, boys. <clears throat> and this is the AK-47 assault rifle, chambered in 7.62 by 3.9. I don't want to pull a sore Carl. No, I do not. <laughs> I have a loaded mag in here somewhere just to show the rounds. Uh, this is the AK-47. I'm gonna show the round real quick. So this is the bullet. It's not a steel case. Um, these are really cheap bullets. You can buy 20 for like 10 bucks. So let me just pull up. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this down for a second. Let me get out of the game and pull up the AK-47. In the game we have this AK-47 for Modern Warfare. It's kind of similar. This is like a really torn up version of the AK. But then we have the AK-47 for Cold War, which is my favorite. And this is a little bit nicer. This is a little bit... that This and that are pretty much the same. AK-47. I'm going to be keeping this in my background. So when I die in Warzone and get really mad, I can just look at it and be like, it's just a game, just a game, it's not real. Classic bad guy, terrorist gun, blah, 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 you know? Classic US Army, Navy SEAL, uh, AR-15. So we got the, uh, the flashlight at the front. I just push it with my thumb. Um, I got the foregrip right here, it's a hand stopper. Got the stock extended and then Got the Trigicon red dot sight for that. The best of both worlds, yeah, man. Navy SEAL by night, terrorist by day. I don't know, what would you guys rather take into battle? The classic Russian AK or American-made M, uh, M4? Both of these are semi-automatic. I don't have any fully automatic guns. That would require the ATF to come knocking on my door. Why not run overkill? <laughs> All right, evening mate, what is up? This is the first gun in the closet. And this is a double barreled side-by-side -side shotgun. The 12 gauge shotgun, double barrel. Break the barrel, you put both shells in here and it's got two separate triggers, one here and one here. Shoddy triple time. <laughs> So unlike World War II, these don't reload themselves. You actually have to manually open it and stick the shotgun shells in it. It's crazy. It's, it's stupid. But they don't reload themselves after getting two rapid kills, unfortunately. So this is a double barrel shotgun. I got this for $250 at a pawn shop. Double barrel shotgun, this is my second newest gun. I just bought this last week. This is actually a Kmart gun. So Kmart is... It doesn't exist anymore, it went out of business. But Kmart used to manufacture guns. Kmart, if you guys don't know, is similar to Walmart. Walmart just makes a bunch of random shit. Kmart used to make guns and they stopped making them and they went out of business. So this is a pretty rare gun and I guarantee in 10 years it would be worth a lot more than 200 bucks. So my biggest collection is World War II rifles. So this is a World War II rifle. I have a, fa I have a rifle from almost every faction of World War II. American, Russian, German, and England, British. This is the British Lee Enfield. It holds 10 rounds as opposed to the standard five back in World War II. This is the SMLE Mark IV, I believe. No, SMLE number four Mark I. So this is very old. Uh, all of my World War II rifles are, are actual uh, World War II rifles that actually were in uh, in combat, I didn't buy any refurbished ones or anything like that. They copied from World War II, I know they did. But this is, holds 10 rounds of 303 British, and it is the fastest, to date, the fastest bolt action rifle ever. Still to the day, till to this day, it's the fastest bolt action rifle.
Call of Duty makes up all this shit, like with attachments and stuff and all the camos. They didn't actually have camos on their guns back in World War II. It's crazy, but they really didn't. No, dude, I I'm being dead serious. They didn't have gold camo in World War II. It was very hard to find. You had to like open loot boxes. Uh, 1897 Winchester trench gun. It's got the heat shield on it. So when you were shooting it, it got really hot. You can't touch the barrel, so that's the heat shield. It's got the bayonet. So you actually put the bayonet on the end of this, like in the video games. It's a hammer shotgun. They don't make these anymore. Uh, the, this is a hammer shotgun. So when you cock it back, <coughs> it actually uh, pulls this hammer back and then you can fire it. Um, it's just like, like a revolver. It, it runs the same action as the hammer. Usually you shoot it, you pull the trigger, cock it back, go forward and it loads the next shell in and then you can shoot it. For this, you don't have to uh, do all that. You hold the trigger down and every time you cock it back and push it forward it fires. So you can fire it rapidly. Because it's called a, it's a slam fire. This is a Polish, Polish Mosin M44. It's got the bayonet on the end. You know I had to pull up with a bayonet attachment. Very short. I like the short barrel actually more than the long barrel. I haven't not shot these in a while boys. I think I've gone through a lot. Okay, if you watch any Hollywood movies, you see a lot of fully automatic fire. It looks good on camera, on TV, but in the real world, full auto is a very limited value. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna set up a little drill, 15 yards. Dave's gonna run me through it with a timer. I'm gonna do semi-automatic, two shots each on those three targets. We'll check it out, check out the time, then I'm gonna do the same thing, burst mode. We'll see what kind of time I have and what kind of hits with this AK. All right, Dave. Shooter ready. Yep. Stand by. Six fifty-six. All right, let's put it on safe and go and check it out. All right. We use the whole head box, not just the V block here on the gun sight target. We're good to go here. Good to go here. And good to go there. Cleaned it 656, semi-automatic mode. Let's try exactly the same thing. I'll try to keep it to two shot bursts to the right. best of my ability. 15 yards and see how we do. Let's check it out. All right, Larry, two round bursts to the head. Okay. Shooter ready. Stand by. Three point six nine. Okay, a lot quicker. Let's check it out. Now, the first one. Did I shoot two or three? I thought it was two, okay. but this is typical. Yeah, I, absolutely. First one on, one over top. Yeah. Same thing here. Correct. When I and look at this. There's the other one, and then the LAV got them both in because of who I am, dog. I got those two on. So out of six shots, four on, two off, full auto. Clearly, now much faster time. Much faster time and it's typical on burst mode is to get the first round close to the aiming point and then the second could be just about anywhere. Okay, the next thing we have coming up is another full auto myth that you see in a lot of movies. Really looks cool, but we'll see if it has any validity here at gun sight on the range. Okay, this time up, we're gonna knock out two Hollywood movie myths. First off, I'm here at 15 yards. I have 30 rounds of my AK. I'm gonna take a 30 round mag dump at these three assailants, and we'll go down there and count the number of hits out of 30 rounds. The other part of the myth we're gonna look at is how long it takes to dump 30 rounds. Compare that to the limitless magazines that you see in the movies. Dave's got me on a timer. My guess is it's gonna be pretty fast, Larry. Cool. Shooter ready. Stand by. Now, I will readily admit that was a lot of fun. Now, I'm not going to lie about that. But I'll be interested to see what the hits look like and what kind of time. A little longer than I thought. Three and a half seconds. 3.50. Three okay. Let's check it out. All right, Dave. Two hits on the side of the target. 
We've got a round here and one out on the edge. All right. And the third target, actually a nice, pretty nice pattern across it. A little bit better. So really, let's talk about three, four, five, six hits on the uh, silhouette. Out of 30 rounds. Of 30 rounds, 24 misses. It's not that good of a percentage. That's pretty pathetic. The semi-auto, you're the most accurate. Without a doubt. Short burst, that's fine also, but full auto has very limited usage in the real world. Absolutely. Looks good in the movies, but remember, in the real world, pretty much useless. Okay, I'm about ready to hook up with my buddy Walt Wilkinson to put the AK through its paces on the military crest. You definitely want to stick around for this.